I'm good. How about you? I'm doing good, Dr. Khan. Dr. Can you please uh, uh, introduce about yourself? Well, my name is Dr. Dwasik. I have uh, done my UG, PG, and later my PhD in Russia. I'm, I'm not Parisian. Where is I now working as a uh, wise dean in Pakistan State? Well, oh, great to hear that to Indian working Indian working as a wise dean in this was that was actually it's a uh, it's not an easy thing to be in such a position, sir. As of my knowledge, okay. Took you a long period of time to achieve this. Oh, great! Yeah. Actually, looking forward from the most. Yeah. Well, sir, uh, actually, I have a question. Do you have a question? Uh, this our uh, Russian. MD, I mean, Russian MBBS is, I mean, right globally? Yeah, it has been recognized as uh, an acceptable global. It, mm -hmm. There's a misconception like it is being a uh, non accessible everywhere. It's not the same. Uh, because the university is found under the knowledge of WHO, mm -hmm. as per the new NMC rules, mm -hmm. also this one, mm -hmm. uh, being recognized and accepted worldwide. So each country has a own uh, recognition procedure, like how to give exams based on the countries. As we come from India, we say like you're from JG, the foreign member of exam, which can be changed to the next time, uh, where is forms of exam. Exit, exit examination. Exit examination. When you go to, if you want to go to European countries, like, let's say, one word United Kingdom, I think the club exams, if I go to stage, you get to do some exams, etc. And if you want to go to the Gulf, you can get a license here and then you go to Gulf as well. So you have various opportunities where you can go to all this. So what are the conditions in the advisor? I mean, affected uh, by the senior words. Affected by the senior words. It has been. Uh, it, it is since 25 years the university has been. Sorry, I'm sorry. Academy is being uh, working good. Has accreditation which can accept out uh, recognized globally, and uh, it has been uh, helping the students to obtain their medical education in the level of UG, PG, as well as in the scientific research work as well. Great, 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 great to have that. Um, what is the minimum qualification to your faculty to work as a uh, teacher in this university and professor in this university? Coming to the medical uh, field, we have to understand is it needs a wide and so broad information. We should be keen about very deep information about each and every thing. To obtain this, it requires a lot of years of uh, practice and uh, learning and so on. So the minimum qualification we'll keep is PhD aspirant. And then those are at least have completed in the UG, UG and PG course, and those have actually been to the PhD course. And those, those aspirants. <laughs>